Hi, Sarah Mack here from withsarahmack.com and today I'm going to share with you three super powerful mindset hacks to stop procrastinating and get that thing done now. And this is really for you if you have an action item on your to-do list that could potentially change everything that you know is a needle forward task that can bring you in that next level income, a life-changing opportunity, make one of your dreams come true and bring you whole new levels of freedom and fulfillment. But you're waiting, you're probably overthinking it, you're doubting yourself, there's an unsupported inner narrative that's making it seem really hard and making you doubt that you can even take that action anyway. And that takes up a lot of energy, not following through on that. So I wanna share these three really powerful hacks to shift that energy and enable you to take action really quickly to create those results and start enjoying them. So um, I've resisted many things in my life. <laughs> I'm very familiar to resistance and procrastination. And until I really discovered these powerful mindset hacks to unlock procrastination, and then I actually started getting everything done and getting everything that I wanted from life, including a dream business, time to put into my creative projects, songwriting, performance, video. I doubled my income three years in a row. I learned French and became a Canadian resident. I traveled to 15 countries in the past five years and have had a lot of fun adventures along the way. And that's all because I stopped waiting and I learned to love myself enough to overcome procrastination. So here are my three uh, super powered, simple steps for you to bust procrastination. Number one is to acknowledge that you're scared and it's okay, you're human. And the most powerful thing we can do to shift that resistance is to ask our fear why you're scared and actually listen to it. Because as you're probably very familiar, pushing against it actually doesn't really work. So if you ask your fear why you're scared and why you're resisting, you'll get a powerful insight to be able to adjust your strategy. For example, Here's a really big one that has come up for me in the past and comes up for my clients is I don't have time for more clients. So, you know, if one of your action items is becoming more visible, getting your message out there, doing some reach out to potential new customers, um, but you're resisting doing it, it's probably because there's a, a fearful part of you that thinks I'm already exhausted and I don't have time to take on any more work, even though I really, you know, desire the income that those new clients would bring. So you get to reprioritize, say no to some things, clear up your schedule, and that's going to actually get rid of a lot of the resistance that's there. So I'll give you an example. When I started my business, I would set, when I started coaching, I would set specific hours in my calendar for my coaching clients to come into, even when I had none. Um, you know, sometimes I would use that time to book calls, to connect with people, to network. I did a few free calls with people to collect testimonials as I was building my business. And those slots soon got filled with paying coaching clients. So you get to ask yourself, what are you afraid of losing as a result of following through on this action? It's a really powerful mindset question to go digging on. So that was step number one is actually acknowledge that you're scared and ask your fear what the story is there so you can do something about it to shift it number two is is it a genuine desire for you now this is a big question right a lot of the time we're running after goals because we inherited them from you know parents school society friends social groups and you're not really going to follow through on something unless you genuinely desire it for your life and it feels right for you and it feels exciting to you. So you get to ask yourself, is this action actually in alignment with what I desire for my life or am I just pushing myself to achieve something that I think I need to achieve even though I don't really want to? This is a really powerful question. So you get to ask yourself, even if it works and you create the result that you desire, and even if some of the things that you fear will happen actually happen, is the result that you're going for still something you genuinely want to experience? And if the answer is yes, then you know it's a genuine desire for you. And if the answer is no, then you get to change your goal. You get to change the focus on your, um, your desired action. So it's really powerful to know this. And 
Once you're clear on that answer, on what you genuinely desire to take action on, on the result that is a true desire for you, that even if some scary things happen when you follow through on that action, it is still really in alignment for what it is that you wanna create in your life. Move on to step number three, which is set a timer and do the damn thing. So often, you know, these big, they can feel like really big steps because actually the results can genuinely completely change our life. But when you remove all of that emotional resistance around the action step, these steps that are completely life-changing can sometimes take five or 10 minutes or 20 minutes or 30 minutes or maybe an hour. And when you clear all of that resistance, and you start following through on these actions and you see how actually quite simple and straightforward they can be when you're not completely scared of following through on them, that's when you start to get into momentum. That's when you start to prove to yourself, oh, I am capable of changing the action, uh, you know, changing my behavior, taking the actions that I'm feeling really drawn to take and they create really amazing results and my life gets better in the process. The procrastination and the resistance starts to loosen its grip because you're getting so excited about all the results that you're successfully creating. So break it down into just one next action step. That's as far as you need to go. An actual needle forward, like not dicking around busy work action step, a result producing action step, like sending that email, making that ask, doing that application, asking for a sale, creating that piece of content, whatever it is that is aligned for you that you know is gonna lead you to that result or has the potential to lead you to the result that you desire, set a timer for 20 minutes, 30 minutes max, and just bust it out and do it. (laughs) So schedule time today, not tomorrow, not next week, not someday, today, because the longer you leave it, the more that story builds up, the more that procrastination builds up, you can find 20 minutes, you can find 30 minutes in your day. And if you can't, that's just you deciding that that's not really a priority for you. And that's the truth. So, you know, imagine if you lived every single day this way and how drastically different your life would be by the end of the week, by the end of the month, by the end of the year, if you were consistently following through on those action steps to create the results that you desire. So those are my three simple steps. They're super powerful. Go and implement them today with that uh, thing on your action list that's been sitting there for a while that you've been building up some resistance around and procrastinating on. And remember that you are capable. You wouldn't have the desire if you weren't capable to follow through on it. And you really get to stop killing yourself and building even more resistance and self-doubt by putting it off. Do the thing, celebrate doing the thing, acknowledge that you are capable of doing it, and then move on to the next thing. So, I hope this has resonated with you. Please leave some hearts and likes and some comments on how this lands for you. And I do have a six week one-on-one program that's open at the moment with modules to train you on setting up your business in exactly the way that feels good to you, aligned completely with the things that you desire, the way you wanna be marketing, the way you wanna be selling, and in the life that really makes you happy, creates spaciousness, give you gives you that creative freedom where you get to be yourself in business and outside of business 24 seven all day long and feel really good about the work that you're doing. So if that is speaking to you, please do send me a DM and I'll send you more details um, for that. So thanks for watching, bye.